welcome to my channel. In this video I want to talk about dogs and sniffing and the importance of letting your dog use their nose. Studies have shown that when your dog is able to use their nose, when they're able to sniff, their happiness is also increased. Letting your dogs find food or doing nose work with them helps increase your dog's happiness and optimism. So we know that dogs have a nose that is a lot stronger than ours, they can smell a lot more, and they gain information about the world through their nose and through scents. They can tell a lot about another dog just from smelling them. And they really actually just enjoy smelling things. Giving your dog opportunities to find food with their nose or to do other nose work games can be beneficial for your dog's overall health and well-being. Doing nose work gives your dog the chance to use their brain in a different way than they would normally and if they didn't do nose work, and it also gives them a chance to make choices, something that they don't often have a lot of opportunity to do. So I read about this recent study that tested two separate groups of dogs. One group did nose work and one group did heel work. Nose work is when they use their nose to sniff out certain scents that they have been asked to smell, and heel work is when they stay close to their person and follow them. Each group of dogs took part in a cognitive bias test to test their optimism. So to test their optimism, they determined how excited each dog was or how much a dog anticipated finding a reward. If a dog expected a reward, that means that they were optimistic that they would get it. If they didn't really expect it, then they're not optimistic. The results from this study showed that the dogs in the nose work group were more optimistic than the dogs in the heel work group. So why do dogs love nose work? Why does nose work make them more optimistic, help them increase their happiness, and just overall quality of life? It could be that when dogs use their nose, they have the opportunity to make choices. Hi, Max. Hi. Hi, Max. Max. This is Max. He's smelling the camera. We're talking about nose work and you're smelling, you're using your nose. <laughs> so the researchers had a few questions. They wondered why the dogs in the nose work group were more optimistic. They suggested that it could have been because the dogs in the nose work group were more able to move around freely. They didn't have to stay as close to a person but they determined that it is more likely because they had the opportunity to problem solve. It is known that problem solving will increase a dog's confidence, which is really important when it comes to stressful or high anxiety situations for your dog. All dogs do experience stress and anxiety. It's how they cope with it that is important. When a dog is confident, they are better able to cope with stress and anxiety and regular life. Things like encountering another dog on a walk that maybe they don't get along with that well or things like being left alone at home for an extra hour than they expected. Just regular day-to-day -day stressors. If a dog has a lot of stress and it builds up, this is when problem behaviors occur or health issues start to occur and a lot of it can be reduced if your dog is more confident. So research has shown that when a dog uses their nose, they are more optimistic and they are more confident, which will result in less behavioral problems and overall increased health and wellness. It is important to provide your dog with enrichment and give your dog opportunities to experience the world as a dog would, as a dog should. Give them regular opportunities to use the sense that is most important to them. It just makes sense that having the ability to smell and explore the world by smelling, having more opportunity to play games that involve finding things by using their nose, would be 
beneficial for our dog's health and well-being and just overall high quality of life. It's important that we let our dogs express their natural and normal behaviors. Research shows that it is important to provide our dogs with choice, the opportunity to make decisions, to problem solve, to think things through, as well as the chance to use their nose. What opportunities do you give your dog to use their nose? When do you let your dog make a choice or to problem solve? Some simple things that you can do to give your dog these opportunities are to hide treats around the house and let your dog sniff them, search them out, find them, kind of like an Easter egg hunt. I actually just hide little pieces of kibble in different places and at different levels too, sometimes up a little bit higher, sometimes down low, behind things, in front of things, inside of things, and I switch it up and change where they are every time. You can also hide treats inside of boxes and have some boxes with a treat and some boxes without and let your dog find the box with the treat. You can use a snuffle mat or a puzzle toy to let your dog find pieces of kibble or treat with a toy. are actual scent training kits that you can purchase for your dog and it can be a fun game that you can play with your dog. They're similar to the kits that a police dog would use or a dog that is trained professionally to hunt out scents. There are specific oils that are used for this type of training and you can do this at home with your dog. It's really easy and there are some kits that aren't that expensive. You can also play the hot and cold game with your dog. This is when you hide a treat somewhere in the house and give your dog verbal or visual cues as to where that treat is. So you don't tell them but you can say you're hot or you're cold and your dog will figure out and learn how to play this game. All of these games and activities may take your dog a bit getting used to, to learning how to play them, especially if they've never done it before. But the more often you do it, the better your dog will become and the more fun you will have engaging with your dog and playing these games and activities with your dog. You can also teach your dog to problem solve. To do this you will need a ribbon or a small rope, a treat, and some sort of platform to hide the treat under. A table or a chair, something that your dog can get underneath. A piece of furniture that your dog can not reach the other end easily. So you don't want your dog to be able to pull out the treat by using their paw or their mouth. You could put it under a couch or a bed. Just make sure that your dog cannot reach the treat with their paw or with their mouth. And all you're going to do is tie the ribbon or the rope to the treat. Make sure that it's tight so when your dog pulls the rope, it will stay attached to the treat and the treat will move with the rope. And encourage your dog to pull the rope with their mouth or their paw, whatever method they choose, to bring the treat closer to them. And of course, reward them with praise and let them eat the treat when they pull it out. But this is your dog problem solving because they want this treat, they can't access it, they can't get it with their paw or their mouth, and you're not going to get it for them, so they have to think of a way to get it. You can encourage them and help them, show them a bit, give them some hints, but let them do the actual pulling of the rope.
you have any other ideas, let me know, or any other games or activities that encourage this type of thinking, problem solving, and encouraging your dog to use their nose or make a choice. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.